I'm originally from Austin, Texas. I was born there in 1984. My dad's from there, my mom's from there. My dad was a truck driver. Um, he met my mom in high school. My mom hit me in 19. And, um, my dad ended up getting killed when I was four. And um, my mom ended up remarrying and a guy who was in the military. Then um, met my little brother at five. And um, we ended up moving to Europe. I did elementary and a little bit of middle school in Mannheim, Germany. So from there, moved back to Texas. We ended up moving to Augusta, Georgia. And then um, for high school, I ended up in Kansas City. I can't say it like shaped me. I would say traveling in, in, um, in Texas did, just family and, and just the culture of that did. That's why I still, you know, I still represent Texas. When people are like, where are you from? I say Austin, Texas. When I did bigger than me, it gave me goosebumps in the, in the boot. Cause I'm like, people don't, people don't, wouldn't even know. But before, before I start, like I like to pray and just get in a, in a good place. Just real biographical and personal, and 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 definitely like looking at the times and and. Just in general, like realizing for myself, like it's not just about you, like you're part of a bigger picture, you know what I mean? Like you're a part of, we're all a collective. So you're a part of this collective entity and you just add to that, to that, you know, overall conscious mind or whatnot. But it just flowed out, bro. Like, and that's, and that's a weird thing about music because sometimes you'll be creating and you don't even feel like it's you because it's like, it's, it's, it feels like energy is just channeled through you and whatever is supposed to come out, comes out. The world is very different now. A man holds in his mortal hand the power to abolish all forms of human poverty and all forms of human life. And yet the same revolutionary belief for which our forebears fought Yeah, it just start making me think about like bigger issues than myself. You know what I'm saying? It's so easy to get consumed in your own world, in your own problems. But if you really think outside of your own problems, you'll see we all have problems that are connected together. We got world problems, you know what I'm saying? You have to get all deeper in that to play. That's, that's basically what that song is about. And the second verse I go into a more personal issue like, you know, losing my father and everything, but that's something I'll, I don't think I'll ever have closure. The fact that that happened, the fact that my, uh, my father got killed, like, it got, it's bigger than me. I realize now, if that didn't happen, my mom wouldn't have married my stepdad, and we wouldn't have moved to Europe, I'd probably be a whole different person. I'd probably, maybe I wouldn't have even discovered music. Ultimately, that just shows you a little bit of things is out of your hands bigger than you so maybe you being so consumed with your problems is not the answer maybe the better thing to do is to 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 live and be seeking your purpose and just to be a, you know be a light in the world to help people bless people and help people see their potential i think there's a lot of people out there that don't know how great they are you know what i mean Next thing you know, I'm in Leavenworth, Kansas. My boy Earl gets a video game called Music Generator, MTV Music Generator. Once he got that game and let me try it, I was crazy about it. So I took it home. I started making beats on the PlayStation. And next thing you know, 
I'm getting real good at the game. Like I'm killing it, you know. And I'm doing crazy stuff like sampling the TV commercials. I don't know if I can do that today, but I'm probably still cold on it.